Welcome to Bonle DIY. I'm Monica. Thanks for joining me. Today is the Power Up Collab, hosted by Sweet Sarah of Ken Sarah DIY, and our guest host is Marika of Marika's Creations. This month we're making Christmas gifts, and I'll be making this elf plaque for my neighbor. Let's get into it. I trace my pattern onto some quarter inch MDF, including eight little elves. And I'll head over to the scroll saw and cut this out. I'm going to start with the plaque. I just let the blade follow the line, doing my best to keep it straight. It would be much easier to cut this on a table saw, but my table saw isn't working properly, so I'm just going to make do with the scroll saw. Since I traced the plaque along the factory edges of the MDF, I only have to make two quick cuts. Now I'll cut my elves. I'm going to separate them into smaller sections before cutting the elf itself. It's much easier to handle the smaller piece. And once again, I'm just allowing my blade to follow the lines on the MDF. It's just like tracing the shape, but with the blade. And as I always say, I push gently because I don't want to put too much tension on the blade because it'll snap. Rather than cut this in one large piece, well, not large, it's a tiny little piece, but you know what I mean, as one whole piece, I'm coming in at different angles because sometimes it's just easier when there's a lot of turns and angles to a design, especially when these pieces are small. Now, when I was cutting this, I did not realize that the light was washing out the view. It's one of those LED bulbs. Not a fan of them, to be honest. I think they cast shadows, and clearly, it's too bright for the camera. It's like blinding, like those LED headlights coming at you on the highway. You know what I mean. That little black tube that you saw me adjust, that blows out air to keep your design visible. It blows away all the sawdust. We're in the home stretch here, cutting this guy out, and I just have seven more to go. Everything is cut, sanded, wiped clean, and ready for paint. And I'm gonna give the plaque two coats of ceramic coat watermelon. With a pencil, I'm gonna sketch out my elves. and I base coat each section of all the elves. All the girl elves have watermelon hats, dresses, and shoes. All the boy elves have spring green hats, shirts, and shoes. The girls' collars and their hat decorations are also spring green, and the boys will be watermelon.
Their pom-poms, sleeves, and legs will all be white. Their faces and hands are ceramic coat tawny. The girl's hair is Americana Mississippi mud, and the hair's going to get more details shortly. With my liner brush and Bambi Brown, I'll give them their facial features. I'm dotting in the eyes with charcoal using a toothpick and the girl, she's going to get some lashes. With the back of a paintbrush, I dot their cheeks some kissed coral. So I give the girl some bangs and some hair strands with Mississippi mud and the boy will get a cute little curly cue. I give the pom poms, hats, and collars dip dots, and I stripe their sleeves and stockings. The dots and the stripes are parsley and watermelon. I outline the green with Americana Holly and the red with Santa Red. I highlight the white with Tropic Bay, and I dot white highlights to the eyes, nose, and cheeks. I dot the little dots on their collars and hats with white too. I'm going to shade the edge of the plaque with Floating Medium and Santa Red. You know the deal. I prep my brush with the floating medium, side load with the red, stroke it on my plate, and now I'll float right along the edge, filling in that shading. I'll link my instructional shading video below, just in case you're interested in how to shade with more detail. It is crazy noisy around here tonight. It's like a raceway up my street.
So each elf is going to get two of my neighbor's grandkids' names. There are 16 grandkids, and I just felt like 16 elves would be excessive, so we're doubling up. I cut a stencil to say Little Elves, which I'm going to pants with Mod Podge. Doing this before painting prevents the paint from seeping beneath the stencil, giving us a much crisper line to our letters. Next I'll pants with white. This will give my final color, Parsley, a truer tone, and I'm going to give it two coats of Parsley. I'm going to peel off the stencil and weed out all the little pieces. I cut the Mom Mom and Pop Pop from green vinyl. I couldn't find a lighter green vinyl for the little elves. That's why I painted those. That's always a good alternative if you can't find the color vinyl you're looking for. I felt that it needed something to fill in that negative space on either side of the little elves. So I'm painting in some holly leaves with spring green and I'm going to outline them with the parsley. To add some sparkle, I'll sprinkle on some citrine glitter. I dot the berries with Santa Red, and I'm going to add red glitter to those. Those letters weren't popping, so I'm adding a white highlight to the right side of the letters. I def think that this makes a big difference. I don't know. I think the letters were getting lost, the color green against the red, but I think the white really helps them pop off. I'm adding some vinyl stars that I cut with my silhouette, because you know, that's how I roll. I think the stars really kick up the Christmas vibe too. I'm going to top the plaque with some snow text. I'm just using an old brush to apply it. And I'm going to sprinkle on some diamond dust to make it shimmer. And I'll seal everything with a clear matte sealer, and that'll keep all that glitter in place. I'll drill holes in my sign and the elves so that I can add the wire hangers. Four of the elves will get a hole in the hat and the feet, and the other four just in the hat. I cut a length of wire, which I'll wrap around a paint bottle, twisting it around itself, and I'm going to leave about an inch at the bottom untwisted. I'm going to push that right through the hole at the top of the sign and I'll twist it closed on back with needle nose pliers. I've cut small lengths of wire that I'll push through the holes on the elves to hang them from the bottom of the sign, four across the bottom of the sign, and four hanging from the other elves.
I'll pan out so you can get a look. How cute. For a final touch, I make a small ribbon spray by crossing two pieces of ribbon, pinching the center, and I'm going to twist pipe cleaners around the middle. I'm using metallic red and green pipe cleaner. And then I'm just going to twist that onto the hanger. I also glued a pom-pom to the center of the spray, but I didn't get that on camera. And that's it, all finished. This makes such a cute personal gift for both parents and grandparents alike. She absolutely loved it. I hope you like it too. Thank you, Sarah and Marika for hosting. I've linked their channels below as well as the playlist. Please be sure to check out everyone participating in the collab. Show them some love. You'll find lots of inspiration from my talented friends. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe and all that good stuff. I'll be back on the 16th. I'm taking part in a gingerbread collab, so be sure to stop back. I hope you all have a fun-filled and festive weekend. Stay creative, my friends. Thanks for hanging with me. See you next time. Up all night with Monica.